What's up, pancakes? Japan Cake here with a guide video. Today, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your original 3DS or 2DS. This guide does not work on a new 3DS, so see my other guide for that. Link in the description. Firstly, this currently works on firmware 10.3 and under. If you're on 10.4 up, this currently doesn't work. If something changes and it ends up working or there's a new method, I'll put an annotation on the screen or a link in the description, but until then, 10.3 and under. So the first thing you might be asking yourself is, why would I want to downgrade? By downgrading to 9.2 firmware, you can install custom firmware on your 3DS or 2DS, giving you more control over your system. The second thing uh, is you can potentially change the browser version so you can have it compatible with QR codes once again. Thirdly, you can play games and install special software that you can't even install in Homebrew and much, much more. So I recommend looking into that. And a pre-warning before we get started. I'm not responsible for any, anything that happens to your 2DS or original 3DS. This guide is not for new 3DS, so please follow the guide for that if you're using a new 3DS. If you follow these steps exactly, it should work, but I have to warn you just in case. Okay, now on to the pre-steps. Before you can even use this guide, you're going to have to have Homebrew installed on your system. So if you don't know how to do that, check my other guides. You can use Browser Hacks, Ninja Hacks, OOT Hacks, Iron Hacks, or any of your favorite methods of getting into Homebrew. For my guide, I'm going to be using Menu Hacks. Links in the description if you need to learn how to install Homebrew. Another thing that I think you should do real quick before we get started is just jot down your firmware version. You can check that by going into Settings on your 2DS or 3DS. And on the top screen in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to show a little uh, number, version number. All right, now on to the main steps. If you need to pause this video at any time, feel free to. You can rewind, go back to where you need. I'm going to attempt to make this as easy as possible for anybody who wants to get going on this. Okay, so what you need to do is download a couple files. The first set of files you need, you can download at pokeedit.com slash sys. This is a homebrew app that's going to let you run the downgrade. You'll also need to download the update package for 9.2 firmware or whatever version you want to download to. I can't put the link here, but if you Google the text that I have in the description, I'll put it in there and it'll say Google search this. You should be able to pull up a page and I can show it on the screen like this. It'll look like this and just scroll down the page and there's going to be two sections. The first are the updates. If you get down to updates, those are for 3DS and 2DS. If you scroll a little further, then you get to the new 3DS section, and you're not going to need those for this guide. If you need these, then you should be watching another tutorial. Just under regular updates, download the one you want. You'll probably want 9.2. All right, and then you'll just have those two things downloaded and then we're ready to get going. Just a quick fair warning for anyone using a Japanese 2DS or 3DS. Uh, there's one extra thing you'll have to do after you download the firmware for your region. You need to remove the file listed on the screen right here. .cia file with this name. If you do not delete this file on the Japanese version, your DS apparently will be bricked. So make sure you delete that first step we need to do and I'm gonna go ahead and do this along with you take the SD card out of your 2ds or 3ds and plug it into the computer all right after that you need to open up the SD card file folder and now here's the two uh, files I downloaded here's the sys updater that we downloaded from poke Edit, and here's the firmware package that I downloaded from the site that I said you had to Google okay so let's go ahead and start by unzipping both of these. So just right click it and then go to extract all and then select extract. All right, and then I'm gonna also extract this one, the firmware package. Now you're gonna have these unzipped versions of both these folders. Open the sysupdater folder and then inside there, there's another folder called sysupdater. Go into that and inside this folder, there's two folders. One's called 3DS and one's called Updates. I want you to grab both of those files and drag them directly into the root of your SD card. The root just means the first top of your directory, like you haven't went into any files yet. So just drag that in. On this particular one, you're going to get a message that asks, do you want to merge this folder? Click yes. 
So that puts an updates folder in the root of your SD card and it also adds the uh, Sys updater app. Okay, now go ahead and take a firmware folder that you also downloaded and open it and then click into the updates folder. Now there's a bunch of weird files in here that are .cia. You need to select all of them. Remember if you're using the Japanese version you have to delete the, fo the file on the screen but for North American and European users you don't have to do this part. And then just drag all of these .cia files into the updates folder that's now in the root of your SD card. That'll take just a minute. CIA. The CIA is not coming after you for this though. Once the files are all there and you just did everything I said, eject the SD card from your computer, eject it and then remove it. The safe way. Okay, and then go ahead and put the SD card back in your 2DS. Okay. Now, if you're not already booted up into Homebrew, you're going to want to do that right now. For me, I'm going to have my system powered off, and I'm going to boot into Menu Hacks. But like I said, any way that you can get into Homebrew is going to work for this. Alright, and I'm booting into Menu Hacks. Going to get a glitchy screen. And then I'm going to get lots of colored screens on the bottom. And then glitches, and now homebrew. Okay. And here we are in the homebrew launcher on our 2DS or original 3DS. The next step is to go to the option Sys Updater. This is the system updater that we just installed. And you're going to go ahead and touch it on the bottom screen or press the A button. All right. After you do this, you may end up just getting two black screens. If you get black screens, then you're going to have to power down your 2DS or 3DS and start over again and then try opening that. It appears to work about one out of ten times selecting it. I've had a couple tries where I got it the first time, so just keep doing it until you get the screen that I'm showing right now. And don't press any buttons yet. So this is where it's going to come in handy that you wrote down your firmware version earlier. So there's two options on this particular page, and it's update, downgrade, and exit. Obviously, B is just going to take you out of here. If the version that you're changing to is higher than your current version, then you need to select update. If the version that you're going to is lower, then you need to select downgrade. So, for example, if you're on 10.3, we're going to downgrade to 9.2, you'd select downgrade. If you're on like 7.2, then you're going to need to select update. But you should know what firmware you downloaded, probably 9.2. So make sure you select the right one, downgrade or upgrade. Probably for most people, this is going to be downgrade. And it's Y to downgrade. So press the Y button. And if everything is in place, you're gonna start seeing some text appear after a couple seconds on the screen. First it's gonna be getting the CIA file information. That's great. And then it's gonna just keep loading. And remember, uh, do not power off your console during this process or you're basically screwed. Uh, you, there's a ch pretty good chance your system won't work after this. You might wanna have your console plugged in just in case the battery doesn't die uh, while this is installing and then I guess for the rest of the time being you can just sit and watch as it installs all the .cia files And after it installs all the .cia files, you'll get a message that says it's updated and it's going to reboot in 10 seconds. So just keep on watching it and let it do its thing.
All right, now if everything went hunky dory and it's good to go, then your system's gonna boot back up and it's, you're just gonna be in the home menu and everything's great. If you go to settings and look at the top screen, you'll see that you're on 9.2 now. Congratulations. After it says it's gonna reboot, if it ends up showing a black screen for a few minutes and it never reboots, don't panic, okay? So there's gonna be one more step for people to get a black screen after this. I've been told that it, it tends to do this more if you're on a bit lower firmware versions. I'm not sure exactly what causes it, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So if you get a black screen at this point, then you're going to need to power off your system. So hold the power button until it's completely turned off. But like I said, give it a few minutes first to make sure that it doesn't actually end up rebooting on its own. All right, so hold the power button until the blue light is off on the console. Okay, now take your SD card out of your 2DS or 3DS and put that put that mother sucker trucker duck mother back into your computer and then go ahead and open the SD card folder all right now what you need to do is go into the Nintendo 3DS folder and then you might see a couple files or folders that look like gibberish so just go into them keep going into them until you find a folder called ext data and then you're gonna enter that if you're like me you're only gonna have one folder in there 000 and then go into that now you're gonna see a couple folders uh, in here and what you need to do is you need to delete one of these and the one you need to delete is different depending on if you're on a North American 3DS European 3DS or Japanese 3DS I'm gonna list right on the screen the exact one that you need to delete so make sure you delete the correct one shouldn't be too hard to see to connect the dots here and delete that folder okay all right after you delete it go ahead and eject your SD card once again and put it back into your original 3DS or 2DS and power on all right and if for people that got a black screen just give it a couple seconds maybe do a minute and as long as you deleted that file it should boot right in to the home menu and if you it might create a home menu and do a couple things real quick and then just uh, scroll over to settings go into settings and just make sure your firmware changed to what you intended like mine is on the correct one now as long as you follow this guide exactly the way I showed you, most people, probably 99.9% .9 are going to have no problems and it's going to downgrade perfectly fine. Remember, this doesn't work on 10.4 and you're probably just going to get an error. And if you get the black screen, remember, you, you probably have to delete that uh, folder I told you before. It'll be able to turn back on. Now, there's a very small percentage of people who are going to do this and maybe it just doesn't come back on so there's still hope for you now if you've get if you've gotten to the point where it's a, looks bricked like it's not gonna work at all no matter what you do uh, the bad thing about this is you're no you're probably not gonna be able to downgrade your firmware anymore but there's still a chance that your DS or 2D your 3DS or 2DS will be usable so what you need to do is we need to try to boot into safe mode so with your console powered all the way down, you're gonna need to figure out how to arrange your hands in such a way, maybe get a friend or two to help you, and you're gonna need to hold the, the L button, the R button, the A button, and the up button on the D-pad while your system's powered down. While holding all those four buttons, press the power button and keep holding those four buttons. This is going to boot you into safe mode on your system. Okay, in the event that something went wrong and you have to do this, boot into safe mode and then follow the instructions to update your 2DS or 3DS. This unfortunately is going to put you on the newest firmware, like I said, which is currently 10.4, so you won't be able to downgrade, but at least your system's not destroyed, so yay for that. I want to give a shout out to Mario, the derpy Poketit mod, for helping me uh, with some of the details for this guide. 
Also, thanks to a couple other people, GBA Tamp and some other people from around the internet uh, whose guides I've watched. I tried to make a guide that went over it in the easiest, simplest way possible, and I think I talked about some stuff in this video that other people don't address that I think were kind of important. So I hope you liked it. Uh, check New 3DS Guide. There should be a link in the description if you're on a new 3DS. And remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, throw a comment down in the section below. And I'll do my best to help you out. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just downgraded. I will be making video tutorials soon on things to do once you're downgraded, so be sure to check back soon for those for installing custom firmware and other amazing, awesome things. I make guide videos for hacking and Pokemon. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Yeah.